Right, here we are again with some more updates in the Premier League regarding news and transfers. And uh, this is Palace to the Core. My name is Stephen Dawes. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really does help keep the channel growing. We're at 500 subscribers now, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you to everyone who's done that. And uh, try and keep it moving forward now if we can. So if you could subscribe and like, if you enjoy the content, that would be absolutely fantastic. So first of all, I'm going to talk about Ipswich and uh, Kira McKenna, who has now officially put pen to paper on a new deal with Ipswich, which is fantastic for them. Uh, because it means that they're going to have the same manager taking them into the Premier League, which I think will mean they will have... I don't think they're going to do too badly. I think Kieran McKenna is a good manager. Yeah, he's new to the Premier League, but I think he uh, I think he could uh, could well do some surprises along the way uh, with that. He's signed apparently in, uh, until 2028 and uh, has also apparently tripled his salary up to £3 million a year. So uh, it's worth him staying. And, and obviously, if he can keep him in the Premier League next season... It will be money worth spent for um, for Ipswich Town. But let me know down in the comment section, Ipswich fans, what you think about the whole thing. Are you pleased that McKenna is staying on? Or would you rather have had somebody else at the helm in the Premier League? Let me know down below. OK, second up is Everton. And uh, it looks like Amadou Onana could be on his way out of the club. Uh, obviously, they need to balance their books. And rather than sell Jordan Pickford or one of the other uh, perhaps higher profile players it looks like they're keen to get rid of Onana as soon as possible uh, he's recently been added to the Belgium squad for the Euros so that will um, that will certainly improve his profile a lot and uh, although there have been clubs such as Newcastle and Arsenal who have gone in for him in the Premier League it looks like they're going to try and sell him abroad if they can so uh, I guess it's so they don't get any competition from him later on next season but um, let me know what you think about that do you think I mean he's, he's, he's quite a good prospect do you think that we should be keeping him or Everton should be keeping him or do you think that actually um, it's time to offload a few players and bring in some other ones to try and balance the books up let me know down in the comment section what you think about that one okay now on to Crystal Palace and even though um, they've got a few players who are interested to other clubs and obviously got Eze and Elise um, Adam Wharton is also of interest apparently to Bayern Munich's new manager Vincent Company. now I have to say I mean Adam Wharton is new to the Premier League he only came in in January and he's had a fantastic spell at Crystal Palace so far I don't think he's going to go so soon I think they're probably going to keep him for a little bit longer if they do want him, then I think they're probably going to put a high price tag on him to try and, um, you know, put other teams off going in for him. So I don't think he's going to go anywhere this this summer anyway. But uh, let me know down in the comments section, Palace fans, what you think about the uh, situation with Adam Wharton. And that's it from the Premier League at the moment. Don't forget to um, catch me tomorrow when I'll have more Premier League news for you. Uh, let me know down in the comment section what you think about the pieces of news so far. And if there's anything I haven't covered, let me know down there and I'll, uh, I'll cover that as well. So until next time, I'll see you tomorrow.